stay in our room at all times. Take his hip, take his soul. Shout out Coach Cav again. Take his hip, take his soul. We know and we all know it's like we're, we're naturally going to work and talk anatomy when you talk about playing offensive line play. But if you take a young man's hip, you're going to take his whole body away. His hip connects his upper body to his lower body. When you hit a guy in his ribs, you hit a guy in his shoulder, he knocks back core, still stabilized. All he's going to do is return it to his position of power. We want to always take hips. We want to always take soles. So that's going over to the knockover player and the takeover player. For us, the knockover player is the old lineman clearing the first level defender to make the easiest exit to the second level. So that's clearly the guy. For us, the footwork will be a spike and drive. Our footwork is going to talk to our guys to exemplify exactly what it is we need them to do. Spike that play side foot in the earth and drive that backside knee north. You're going to be the knockover player at that point because if you spike and drive or you go crowd the technique as with one and the same, you're thinking I'm going to knock this over clear to get the shoulders turned for my, my backside offensive alignment. Then you got the gallop technique. Gain, gather, gain, hitting on an odd step. That's clearly trying to knock a guy's hip over, and that way we can knock it over. And then lastly, angle drive, excuse me, angle drive first. Angle drive can be used in both. That is our everyday footwork. Determine the angle you're working on and go drive through it. So a lot of times we may we have guys who may not like be gall- to gallop as much, and we like guys that prefer to angle drive. I understand the anatomy of everybody's body is not going to be the same. We'll drill everything, but you may feel more comfortable going angle drive on your B throw or your deuce throw instead of going gallop technique. As long as you communicate that with the guard and we're on the same page, we're good to go because you're not communicating to the takeover player. The takeover player is the old line responsible for covering and blocking the first level defender. So for us, it's where it varies a little bit. And I'll show a few examples here. When there's a tight three tech, the guard is now thinking instead of spike and drive, working his double with the backside tackle. It's going to be a little more spike and take. My backside knee isn't going to be as vertical north. I'm going to shorten it a little bit, providing some space for when the knockover player knocks us over. I'm clearly defined and I can big arm in to take it exactly where I want to go, working with each other, not against each other, right? Then you got the angle drive. You can also be the uh, takeover player on the angle drive. So if the guard was going spike and drive and getting the half of a defender, the tackle will be angle drive trying to take over that defender if we were working a deuce to the backside linebacker or if we were working a B concept. And then lastly, those for the Take hips, take souls. See the three technique here to the play side, to the boundary. Once we get into, you can see the play side guard go spike and take short with his backside foot knock, tremendously getting in north, providing window and dressing for this play side tackle to go gallop technique. Gain, gather, gain, knocking that hip over and clearly defining it for the play side guard. So now this picture is defined. We can get to the second level. And you can see, I love showing this picture because you can see the defensive tackle's reaction like he's not happy about what just went down. All right? Give me a second. I apologize for doing this. Let me just make sure I put the right overlay and I get right back to this. See the D tackle right there like, man, come on now. We say take no prisoners. Take his hips, take his soul, right? That's exactly what it's going to happen and that's what it's going to look like. You can see it again. You can that's happening. So the play side guard is short with his backside foot. You can anticipate we go spike and take our hand placement. It's now going to be with a little bit more anticipation that if he's about to knock it over, I'm going to help at the same time. Big arm is across. And you can see they're working with each, with each other and not against each other. And just talking football, you can see he's trying to take it past. Backer does a good job of fighting back inside. We got to do a better job of taking it past on gap scheme. We talk about taking hips, taking soles. You can see Jason Kelsey right here. Play side inside zone. NFL players. Pre-K. Uh, middle school football, it doesn't matter what it is. As long as you take a hip, I promise you'll take a soul. Good visual of that right there. Same thing here, Jacksonville Jaguars working a little deucey deuce. Big Derek Nandi playing into the three technique and violently snapping hips. You'll take the soul. When you take, when you're violent on hips, you create lanes and you create switches. Clearly good examples. We constantly try to show our guys pro film as well. So that way, you know, most guys, they love emulating guys they watch every Sunday. So when you show them that, 